Okay. Hello, I am Heather Day Thorburn with the New Artisan Studio, Mass. And here we are in our gallery, and we are now starting something called Mass Art Views. Today, our first um, interview will be with Sheila Arsena Powell, and she is one of our um, oh, in house artists, so her work can be seen here regularly. Um, she was a part of our very first show that we had at the gallery, and she's going to also be in one of our um, upcoming shows called Exhibit A, starting April 17th. And we will be featuring um, many of our artists that have been here before. Okay, um, the other thing is she will also will be teaching some art classes here, so that's all good. Now, um, I'm going to ask Sheila some questions. Okay. So, because here we go. We're going right. to start. We're going to start to get your view. Okay. Um, what was the first painting that you ever painted? First painting I ever did was actually with the oil pastels, but it was a painting, and it was uh, of uh, a crossing over a little stream, mm -hmm. and I had learned perspectives. So the logs were all in perspective and everything. It was at school, and I was in junior high. I had Fred Riller, and uh, it was just about finished. I had only one or two things to do and somebody started it. <laughs> oh, well. So, would you consider that your first, um, well, first work that sold? Or just no, no, I wouldn't consider that sold. My first work that sold was uh, actually uh, a lawyer and his, his wife bought it, uh, Shirley Gorman. And uh, she uh, enjoyed it for many, many years. Uh, it was over 25 years ago. Right, right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I think with the one that was stolen, that's probably when you knew you were good. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So, um, what inspires you in your art? What What makes you want to paint? What kind of motivates you? Painting is just something that, if I'm not painting, I don't feel complete. Right. But what inspires me? It can be anything. It can be the sunset. It can be the way the light's hitting the house or the water, it can be a small flower or a tree, or it can be uh, playing with shapes mm -hmm. and colors. I really enjoy that. A lot of my more abstract works, I just sit down and do them. Right. And uh, it's a scary way to paint. Oh, okay. So you don't necessarily set out like a time of day saying, I'm going to paint it this, between this hour and this hour. You know, I try day. to work for two or three hours every day on my painting, as I usually uh, study for an hour or two every day. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, studying from where do you get your books? Books. <laughs> okay. Books. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, that kind of um, brings me, well, to one of my questions down the road is like, who trained you? Yeah. Uh, I in the school system, we had some fantastic teachers. I had Fred Willer for uh, two years in uh, junior high, and Fred was just wonderful to me. Uh, he worked with me a lot. And uh, in high school, I had some fantastic teachers as well. And then I, uh, I uh, studied for a couple of years in the Thursday group with Bob Percival back in the day, and I've taken a lot of seminars and things. I had Peter Davidson, courses from him before, and, uh, but mostly I'm self-taught. Well, that's good, because a lot of our people out there who will be watching this, they will be seeing that, you know, like I'm, you know, trying to learn the next level, and maybe just, you know, starting on their own and picking up a book would be a good way to start. It is, mm -hmm. uh, and if, if you're working alone, you tend to develop your style. Mm -hmm. and you don't have anybody else's prejudices. Right. And some people I've seen that have studied with particular artists, they all paint the same as the artist. Right. Mm -hmm. And that didn't work for me. So, in your teaching style, would you consider yourself one? someone that lets people go with what they want to do, or, or do you kind of... Well, yeah, I think if you buy the materials, it's up to you how do you wish to use them. Right. But uh, it's always a good idea to have somebody to support you, and when you do get to a stumbling block, where's your focal point? How does this relate to that? 
What are you trying to get here? Do you want this to be as glaring in this area? Or, mm -hmm. You know, and uh, basically I find if you ask questions to people, right? like are you happy with this contrast in this area, they go, no, no. that's what I need to do. <laughs> okay. So you just kind of help them along. Um, let's see. How has your art evolved? Well, of course, when I first started, I was probably quite realistic and uh, done a lot of drawing over the years, a lot of pen and ink work. And uh, in the 80s, I was doing things that were very surrealistic. And I'm not a druggie by any means, but people used to ask me, and what kind of asset are you doing? <laughs> but. Uh, and then I think I found that be, I was a little ahead of my time at that time, and I found that I went back to more realistic art for a number of years, and uh, then I got my confidence back. And I'm back in an abstract groove again, but I still love to do a lot of very realistic flowers and that type of thing. Right. Yeah, they're beautiful. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Um, let's see. Okay. What would surprise people to know about you? I'm a pretty open book. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I've uh, dealt with the public off and on for a while. I sold real estate for 11 years. And uh, although I didn't have much time to paint at that time, it certainly showed me a lot about marketing. Right. Marketing myself and how to present yourself and that type of thing. Mm -hmm. I've even done interviews before. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I think that's about it. We'll, right. think we'll wrap it up. And again, uh, stop by NAS at any time to see Sheila Howell's work and along with all our other great artists. And you can email us or um, check us out on our website. Thank you.